Uh, Outback Steakhouse. I'm Australian, mate. Think you know everything there is about your favorite steakhouse? Guess again. Here are 10 secrets the fine people over at Outback Steakhouse don't want you to know. Where are you taking me? Finest steakhouse in all Savannah. The founders had never been to Australia. Australia, mate! Outback Steakhouse was founded in 1988 in Florida. The four American founders all had a long background in the restaurant industry. During that time, American culture started to move into healthier and lighter foods, as opposed to meals high in saturated fat and salt. However, the entrepreneurs saw that steak was the number one entree ordered when customers went out to eat. Rather than go for fancy high-end dining, they decided to serve the mid-range market by creating a casual atmosphere with good food at reasonable prices. They decided they needed a theme that was eye-catching and memorable. Using the popular old-school comedy classic Crocodile Dundee as inspiration, the quartet gathered all the stereotypically Australian decor they could find and set up shop. In fact, they intentionally decided not to visit the country of inspiration because they figured being too authentic would ruin their vibe. Flawless logic. The main goal was to play off the American stereotype stereotype of fun-loving Australians rather than the actual culture. Outback Steakhouse had a rough start. We made it! I don't believe it! Did you know that your favorite steakhouse chain almost never made it off the ground? In fact, the opening was a complete disaster. You could practically hear crickets chirping in the large dining room. How sad is that? Scrambling for customers, the owners and workers called up all their friends and family to come down and check out the new place. Those are the people that became their initial fan base in the very beginning. Obviously, that wasn't a sustainable way to run a business. Don't worry, though, our four restaurant founders did didn't stay down for long. They quickly started advertising on the radio and doing cooking shows at local events. Despite the humble opening day, within 15 months, five more Outback Steakhouse restaurants were opened and ready for customers seeking comfort food. Today, they are one of the largest steakhouse chains in the United States. There are over 600 locations in 47 U.S. states, as well as in other countries. In fact, there are even several Outback restaurants in Australia. Australia. Talk about a bold move. Nothing from the Outback on the menu. Crikey! You're not Australian, Gina. While Australia is known worldwide for its high-quality beef, nothing on the menu comes from the land down under. It may surprise you to know that native Australians don't generally nosh on bloomin' onions and kookaburra wings. You're Australian! Be Australian! You must remember that this is an American restaurant designed to cater to the likes of a large population. Because of that, a menu was created using comfort foods found in American culture. Like all other steakhouses you come across, Outback Steakhouse serves a wide range of appetizers, salads, baked potatoes, and other entrees. Naturally, you can find a variety of steaks of various qualities and sizes to suit all tastes. Oh, and just to add to the fun, each restaurant restaurant tends to carry a regional menu item such as crawfish in the Louisiana restaurants. One does have to wonder what native Australians think about all this. I mean, yum, but you get the idea. They must not mind too much, otherwise there wouldn't be nine successful Outback Steakhouse restaurants in Australia. The Bloomin' Onion is serious business. Mmm, onion. Ah, the classic bloomin' onion. This tasty treat takes onion rings to the next level. Fried in just the right seasonings, it's served with a delicious mystery sauce that everyone has tried to copy at home. Dude, shut up! That is awesome sauce! Outback Steakhouse takes their bloomin' onion very seriously. It earned its name because the salty and crunchy treat resembles a flower in bloom. Every year, Outback orders seven tons of super colossal-sized onions to supply their restaurants. Each bloomin' onion contains about 200 petals that make it perfect for sharing. Originally, all the onions were meticulously cut by hand. Then they were dipped in a seasoned batter, fried until perfectly golden brown, and served with a special bloomin' sauce containing 37 ingredients. Eventually, the bloomin' onion became so popular that an actual tool was invented to make the job more efficient. Resembling a large apple slicer, the onion bloom slicer was also top secret. However, it is now available everywhere, so fans can make their own at home. As we keep moving on, take a second to hit that like button, would ya? Thank you. Next! 
steaks need to be done just right. You know what they say about tenderloin, always a risky option. It's got to be done just, just right. Outback Steakhouse has a super secret steak seasoning recipe. It contains a total of 17 ingredients. Most recipes we make at home have less than 10. Yet when you go to Outback, your steak alone consists of almost twice as many. While that may seem a little extreme, professional and home chefs alike have been trying to recreate the recipe for years. Can anyone guess the secret ingredient? While an internet search will contain sites with varying versions, there is a sort of general consensus that many can agree on. It seems to be that the steak seasoning is a combination of salt, paprika, ground black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, ground coriander, and turmeric. Some even think there's a little nutmeg and maybe even some brown sugar in the mixture. After seasoning your steak just right, Outback chooses one of two grilling styles. Searing or wood fire grilling are the only acceptable ways to cook your steak at this eatery. Sirloin steak is the most affordable option while keeping the right flavor and texture. The best quality steaks that can be found at Outback Steakhouse include the ribeye, the prime rib, and the porterhouse. Outback used to offer steak flights, which included three pieces of three-ounce sirloin with a variety of dipping sauces. Basically, it was a delicious steak sampler. Surprisingly, it wasn't a popular option, so it was taken off the menu. We wouldn't be opposed if they brought that option back. Bloomin' Brands owns several other familiar restaurants. Not sure that they'll let us. Oh, they should. I own the place. Remember way back about five minutes ago when we told you that after an initial slump, Outback Steakhouse became successful quickly? Well, because of that success, the founders formed a company called Bloomin' Brands, which led to the opening of other affordable and delicious casual dining restaurants. They own almost 1,500 restaurants worldwide. Even if you haven't ever enjoyed the eats at Outback Steakhouse, chances are that you have been to a restaurant owned by Bloomin' Brands and didn't even know it. Oh, thank Good, huh? Aside from Outback, the other Bloomin' eateries include Carrabba's Italian Grill, Bonefish Grill, Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar, and the Aussie Grill by Outback. Carrabba's Italian Grill started out as a small family-owned restaurant in Texas. After partnering to open 10 new Carrabba's restaurants, Bloomin' Brands acquired the company in 1995. Since then, they have popped up all over nationwide. A Brazilian version called Abraccio opened up so even those in South America can enjoy Italian-American cuisine. There are now several locations in South and Central America. Bonefish Grill joined the group in 2001 and now delights patrons at almost 200 locations in 28 states. While their specialty is wood-fired fish, customers can now visit select locations for a weekend brunch. Want something a little more upscale? Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar is a little harder to find with only six Four locations nationwide. Originally founded in California, those with a passion for both steak and wine love this place. Fans of Outback that crave something a little fancier than casual family dining can sample award-winning wine with their meal. Last but not least, inspired by the tasty food from Outback Steakhouse, the Aussie Grill by Outback is designed for those on-the-go customers. This chain has locations with drive through options and even some food trucks. No matter where you live, chances are that there is a Bloomin' Brand restaurant near you. They invested in American sports. Love sports. Football and basketball are the decidedly American sports that Outback Steakhouse has been actively involved in, and in very big ways. Turns out, Outback Steakhouse has the longest college bowl sponsorship in history. Previously known as the Hall of Fame Bowl, the Outback Bowl has been played every year New Year's Day since 1986. It's a big deal down in Tampa, Florida. There are week-long events and celebrations like beach days and galas, all leading up to the big game at Rainbow. James Stadium. Sounds like the perfect time to break out your fan gear and plan a getaway in the warmer southern climate. Outback has recently implemented a new program during March Madness that is both promotional and altruistic. The Outback Steakhouse Teammates program features college basketball players and their all-time favorite Outback meals. The selected male and female college athletes' favorites are placed into meal bundles that are exclusively available on the Outback to 
go menu. The proceeds go to the American Cancer Society through Outback's partnership with Coaches vs. Cancer. Ah, very nice. That means that you can order your favorite college athlete's favorite meals while watching the games and know that you are doing some good while you're at it. Outback gives back to the community. Bagel! Bagel! Outback Steakhouse doesn't just give back in March, they are a company that likes to give year-round. In 1997, they started a campaign they called, At Outback, We Give Back to Those Who Serve. They continuously raise money for Operation Homefront and have already donated millions of dollars. One of the goals of Operation Homefront is to help formerly deployed active military and veterans work through the challenges of readjusting to civilian life. They also help military families with urgent needs like groceries, car payments, and household bills. Need to fundraise for a local group? Outback Steakhouse can help you with that. Simply book the date of your event, send out RSVPs, and a percentage of the sales will go to your cause. Easy peasy. That means that your crew gets to chow down on some bloomin' onions and thick juicy steak while raising some cash for your school, dance troupe, or community outreach program. Sounds great to us. They they encourage you to take your food home. I'll take that steak to go, please and thank you. Sometimes at the end of a long work week, the last thing you want to do is get dressed up and go sit in a noisy restaurant. Sometimes the best remedy for the week is to sit on your comfy couch in your cozy pajamas while watching a movie. What a wonderful idea. Well, the people at Outback understand that. In 1997, they became the first restaurant to offer a curbside to-go option. It was the best way to compete with the ever-popular fast food restaurants. It was a novel idea at the time. People just called in in their order ahead of time and their perfectly packed up meal was delivered to their car. Soon other restaurants like Applebee's and Red Robin jumped on the bandwagon. Now it's even easier because you can order online. Currently there are delivery options through third-party delivery services like Grubhub. Now you don't even have to trade your slippers for real shoes before sitting down to a fantastic steak dinner. Outback Steakhouse Satanic Cult? So you're not a cult? <laughs> no. Ah, the internet. Way too many people with way too much time on their hands. Gotta love it. It all started on Twitter, and of course, everyone knows if it's posted on Twitter, it must be legit. Someone out there posted a map of some Outback Steakhouse locations. The tweet showed how you can connect those points to create a pentagram. A pentagram is a symbol that has been used for centuries for different religions and cultures. In pop culture, it's mostly associated with witchcraft and Satanism. You know how the internet loves a good conspiracy theory, so naturally this went viral. Dwight, not everything is conspiracy theory. Others followed up by sharing other screenshots of Outback locations seemingly forming pentagrams around other cities such as Phoenix, Indianapolis, Atlanta, Cincinnati, and New York City. Rumors began to swirl that Outback Steakhouse was a front for a satanic cult. Well, the connection does fit, right? Everyone knows steaks and evil go hand in hand. Anyway, the real reason for those locations is more practical and a lot less interesting. The truth is that Outback Steakhouse caters to suburban families outside large metro areas. Naturally, the company wouldn't want to place restaurants too close together, so the spacing makes sense. Outback did join in on the fun and suggested that the restaurant locations on the map form the shape of a bloomin' onion. Now that's a clever way to turn a conspiracy theory into a marketing tool. Smart, Ann. Smart. Bite into more great videos. Just tap or click, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad. And hey, leave us a comment.